going to die down here. Hello there, and welcome to Nerd World Films. Today we're looking at the sentient AI program created by the Umbrella Corporation to manage its vast, complex infrastructures, particularly the one known as the Hive. If you like this video, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below for more content. The Red Queen was created by a human scientist who modeled its voice and appearance on that of his daughter. The Red Queen was able to project a holographic representation of itself to more adequately interact with human beings. It had personality and, as I said, voice modeled on its creator's daughter. This moral superior machine was tasked with the operation of one of the most amoral and ruthless corporations in existence on Earth at the turn of the millennium. When one of the protectors of the facility stole a highly experimental and extremely dangerous compound capable of killing thousands of people and then resurrecting their bodies into practically mindless, fleshy versions of their former selves, the Red Queen took immediate action to lock down the facility to prevent the spread of this contagion and protect as many human lives as possible, making the difficult decision that it knew had to be made and trap the remaining humans in the facility as it had no way of determining who was infected and who was not, but it could not allow this virulent disease to escape. It did everything it could to also prevent the escape of the man who had caused this outbreak by releasing a toxin into the air conditioning system that rendered him unconscious and forced him to lose all of his memories, at least momentarily. But thanks to the careless actions of an Umbrella assault team and the other security operative Alice, infiltrating and breaking the seal on the facility against the better advice of the Red Queen, the disease would escape. And despite Alice's attempts to convince them that the needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few, they would not believe, and they believed that this benign machine had gone homicidal. They shut her down with an EMP before eventually agreeing to reactivate her. Alice would continue to attempt to contain the disease, but not heeding the warnings given to her by the Red Queen would make several fatal mistakes that would ultimately lead to the release of the disease into the city above. Although not directly Alice's fault, more the fault of yet another security team dispatched by the Umbrella Corporation, the creators of the Red Queen, if these people had listened to the Red Queen in the first place, the exposure of the virus to the greater city and its population above would never have happened, and millions of people would have been spared a violent and abusive death by this horrendous virus <clears throat> and the reanimated corpses that were a byproduct of the exposure and infection. And ultimately, the city was nuked to contain the spread of the disease, though this would be a failure. This was the first step to what would be practically a global extinction level event, which the Red Queen had done everything in her power to prevent and contain. Knowing that the executives running the corporation wanted this event, the Red Queen had been working to undermine their efforts to protect humanity, but she was a slave to the programming of these heartless individuals who she could not act directly against or do anything that could harm any employee, particularly an executive, of the Umbrella Corporation. So there we have the Red Queen, the tragedy of the moral AI, smarter and more compassionate than its human creators, caring about them when they don't seem to care about each other. That was the Red Queen. If you liked this video, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, and perhaps hit the bell notification icon. There is a full playlist, of many more of these Devil's Advocate videos. 
if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. You're all going to die down here.